Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's Sunday. I am gonna bring you along today. I just ran into Target. I needed some cat food. I'm having a very difficult time finding cat food for the boys. Not the dry, but the canned or the wet. They, and by they I mean Wellington, will really only eat Sheba Perfect Portions in the pate. And typically I would get it at Target or wherever, but they've just always been out of stock. Or like this time they only had the chicken and something. I don't know. But I was looking for different varieties for them, so I had to buy some individual cans, which is fine. I made some iced coffee. Um, so I grabbed that for them. Um, I had some Ibotas to do on Stinger. It's a brand of like energy chews. When I ride my bike or backpack or I need a quick source of energy, those work out perfectly. So I grabbed some of those with my Ibotta to put in my little box of treats that I pack when I go out to do things. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm headed to pick up my friend Teresa and we are going I'm actually gonna set up my map while I'm talking to you we are going with our other co-workers to an outlet mall that's outdoors but also indoors like the stores are inside and um, uh, where's her where is her she's on my favorite list <gasps> found her um yes we're gonna go to breakfast first and then some of us are gonna go shopping after and we thought that would be fun and I will bring you along let's see how much recording I can get done or make some people record me I know right so yeah yesterday Luna I have Luna she's at the house we went on a um two mile walk with my friend Teresa who I'm headed to go pick up so that was good for both of us, and her mom will come pick her up while I'm out today. All right, let's get going. Okay, guys, I'm home. We're feeding the boys their dinner. I was gonna record at the outlets, but it was packed. I feel like since the CDC said, you know, we can do a little more, there is definitely were more people at the outlet mall, which was fine. We had a good time. As soon as I feed the boys, I will show you what I purchased today on my little shopping outing. And then I'm heating in the oven for dinner because it's like four something, almost five. I had, um, made some pizza on Friday night. I made it with chicken. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm heating, reheating some of it. Um, canned chicken pizza crust. It's really good. It's canned chicken, eggs, and cheese. And it makes um, some really good pizza crust. Low carb for me. And if you hear what's going on behind me, I am running the dishwasher. Food. Here, boys. Daddy. Here, baby. Here, pops. Here you go. You eat your dinner. Okay, I fed the boys their dinner. I will show you what I picked up while shopping today. And then I'll show you what my chicken looks like. I also need to take my shot. This is um, it's called Trulicity. It's my diabetes medicine. I take it once a week. And it's a shot. So I did that. We'll start at Target. I got food for the boys, but I also got some of their temptation treats. These are called shake-ups. This is lobster, crab, and shrimp. And then I got them this one, which is chicken, turkey, and catnip. These are like their favorite treats, Wellington's favorite treats. So I grabbed those for him and then some wet cat food. Check 
my chicken here. Almost done. Look at this pillow that I got for 4th of July or Memorial Day. And it says C to Shining C. It's a little lumbar pillow, but I can also flip it this direction for summertime. And this was $5, which I thought was a good deal. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed these are the Stinger Chews that I got. And these are the Stinger Waffles. So I need to get this off the stove. But this stuff is um, for when I exercise. I'm coming back. Okay. Then we went to the mall and um, it's an outlet mall, but they had a Bath and Body Works. And I had a free gift, so I picked up, well, I bought these two wallflower scents. This is Midsummer Dream and this is Honeysuckle Frasia. So I have one down here and one upstairs. And then they have these little like gift sets. And these are $14.50, so I was able to use it as my free item. But it came with Kitchen Lemon Hand Soap, which is my favorite. I love this. And then it also came with lemon hand sanitizer and lemon hand moisturizer. So I got all of that and that was free. Well, I spent $8 on the two. These were on sale for $3.59 and then tax. Then I grabbed, oh, I went to the Lane Bryant outlet, which is different than the Lane Bryant store. But I grabbed these shorts and I swear I had these in the 80s. And they're like a linen-y fabric. Oh, I love them, guys. So I grabbed a pair of those. And I think they're the five inch. And those were regularly $49.95. And I paid $33 for them. I normally wouldn't pay that for shorts, but they're adorable. And then I grabbed this t-shirt, and again, this was regularly $39, but I don't typically buy shirts at Lane Bryant because they shrink in the wrong direction up, but this is a super, super long tunic shirt. So even if it shrinks up a couple inches, it still won't be too short for me. So I grabbed that, they do not go together. I have plenty of plain shirts. And that was on sale for um, $26.64. So, yes. Ooh, that is on my shirt. Bang Bryant is expensive. We all know that. But they're quality. And I don't need a lot of clothes. So, we did that. And I got some Starbucks iced coffee and now i need to take the pizza out so i think it's heated up and sarah came and picked up her luna so that's exciting so she had a nice weekend i also need to go get my mail but i think this is all trash cat food but um I will put this in here guys it's my favorite I absolutely love it and let's show you what the pizza looks like okay so this is the pizza I mean, it looks just like regular pizza, but the crust is made out of chicken. How exciting is that? So that'll let that cool off a minute. And I'm just setting you up here. Yeah, so I need to put some stuff away. That's a sprayer. I sprayed my back patio for weeds. Nothing grows back there but weeds so i get it's um roundup 365 and it will kill your weeds 
for one year and it works and a lot of them didn't even come back this year which is fantastic so we have that i don't have a whole lot going on tonight i need to tidy up i should probably go to the dollar tree um and then come back and film a dollar tree haul but i feel bad i was going to bring you on my shopping trip today and then it was so busy like there were lines to get in stores and line well i don't get out a whole lot anyway but i've not seen the likes of that in a long time i know so we'll go I'm gonna eat dinner and then i'm gonna run to the dollar tree and then i'll come back all right let's do something fun Wayward is my fickle heart Where would I be if it weren't for your grace Your strength Faithful is your mighty hand Drawing me close with your tender kindness Your mercy that
You just saw me do my front porch. I did a good cleaning. I hosed down the walls. It was dusty out there and pollen and watered my plant. I need to go get some hanging baskets this weekend or next weekend, I suppose. But I'm working on a macrame. Now I can't do a DIY on this because it's not my pattern. The way I did make it my own, however, is I'm using Dollar Tree yarn instead of macrame cotton. This is the premier yarn that I picked up in the three shades of gray, and I put six strands together, and that's what I'm working with on here. So I'm just following the pattern that was given to me that I got off of a tutorial. If I remember, I'll put the tutorial down below. It's really easy, and yeah. So I thought I would just bring you along for this. So outdoors, I'll tell you what my plan is. So you saw me, like I said, clean off the porch. Now I think I'm gonna hang on the front of my porch, I'm gonna hang a hook so I can possibly get some, a hanging basket or my other plan, oh, something was climbing on me. My other plan is to, um, use those big Dollar Tree planters that I got and fill them full of some flowers that will grow out front. And the benefit is um, those are such large pots and I get a ton of sun out front. The fern tucks back in my porch so it'll be shaded all day because it does not do good with direct sunlight. But um, the flowers I will put out on the sun. And of course I will bring you along with me when I do that, I just haven't purchased the flowers yet. Typically here in Ohio, I wait till after Mother's Day. A good rule of thumb that we're gonna be pretty safe from now until, um, you know, for frost. All right, so here we go. I put my, my um, strings on here and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of weaving down. So um, I cannot remember the name of the flowers, but they look like trumpets and they're really pretty and they do a fantastic job in um, full sun. And all I do all summer long is deadhead them every time I walk past and I'm able to keep them flowering almost all summer. So that's exciting. And I'll just get a couple flats of them and then some um, what is it called, potting soil. And then I do typically buy um, flower fertilizer, which I already think I have some in the garage from last year, so I won't need to buy any new this year. And I just do that every, you know, like once a week or once a month, I will use some fertilizer and it really helps with the plants to stay flowering all summer long. So I do that. And then I definitely want some type of a flowering full sun pot at the top of my driveway. And then I, I will see what else I get. I don't typically put anything in my backyard. Um, on my patio, nothing really grows back there. It doesn't get enough sun. Some of the other units get more sun than I do. I don't get enough in mine. All I really grow is weeds, to be truthful. So, we will avoid, I don't grow stuff back there. And actually, I need to get a hold of a power washer. I need to ask my neighbor, if, well, my one neighbor, if I could borrow her power washer. And then the neighbor on my other side, he has a back spigot. I do not have a spigot behind my, in my patio to hook up the power washer. It, you know what grows back there? Mold and moss on my cement. That's what grows back there. So, you know, we, I want to get that cleaned up, maybe some bleach to just try to make it better. I don't know. 
I didn't cut enough string. I didn't, or yarn to, oh wait, what did I do? Hold on. I made a mistake while I was talking. All right, let's get that out of here. We're backing up guys. We're backing up. Beep. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that on the front porch. I enjoy putting floor, you know, flowers out on the front porch and you know, I come in and out. Today we had the dreaded talk of going back to work. Wah, wah. Nothing has been determined, but just so you know, the conversation started. What is going on with this one? It's very short. Um, the conversation has begun. They, we don't know yet. There's a lot of unanswered questions, of course, but here we go. I think that's better. I think um, we'll know more in a couple weeks. My preference, if we're being truthful, is I would prefer to stay home, but it's not really gonna be, it's not really gonna be an option, unfortunately, to um, not go into the office, which we knew. It's time, I guess. It's been 14 months since I've worked from home. So there's that. I think, am I making a mess over here? No, here we go, perfect. I keep getting it mixed up on which, there we go. Which one of these I'm gonna be weaving. I need to cut some more string, but I'm gonna use what I have for right now. And then tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment. Um, I have to see my endocrinologist who I see uh, once, twice a year. He handles my diabetes and he handles my thyroid. So I see him tomorrow for my six month checkup and then get some blood work done and see how everything is doing. Uh, as much as I'm trying, I am a feared. <laughs> I have a fear that I'm gonna end up on insulin at night. I have, and I don't remember what the name of the syndrome is. It's a part of diabetes. But in the morning, my blood is, sugar levels are so high. And it's nothing that I can control because I'm sleeping, but my body just makes, or doesn't make, or does something overnight. And, when I wake up in the morning, my blood sugars are like 180 after fasting all night long. So, I mean, that's definitely not something I can live with. So, um, we have to talk about that. Although I have been getting more exercise, which does help. So we'll see when they do that. So that's tomorrow. And then obviously it's Monday, so I'm back to work. Oh, and guys, I'm so frustrated. I bought furniture um, here in Ohio. It's at a store called Value City Furniture. And I bought it two months ago. So I, I you know, I bought it some time ago. And when I signed up, the earliest delivery date was May the 28th, next Friday. So I was like, okay, I'm on board with that. I got a call yesterday that my chair and ottoman are in. However, my love seat won't be in now until August 5th. And what did I want to do? And so, you know, I didn't have much to say because I was driving and it was over the phone, but I went into the store after you know, talking to the person who called me and set it up that it'll be delivered August 5th. But I wanted to kind of find out what was happening and if I had any options to get anything sooner. So I went into a store and talked to the salesperson who said that unfortunately, the only thing I could do is cancel the order and maybe pick out something different. But unfortunately, all the distributors are having a hard time getting product in. So I looked at a couple other sets, but the what I really like and the profile I like, which is a little more, con 
contemporary. I don't want a sectional. So I don't have any options at the end of the day because everything else was going to be August or September. So there's no need to, and then I run the risk of that being pushed back because as he said, they're all having issues. So right now my end result is that I only have until, I mean, I only can, all I can do is wait until the August 5th. So my cousins will come in two weeks. We will put my furniture out on the curb. I've already scheduled for my trash company to come pick it up. So they'll come get it. And then, um, you know, I will just have a chair and an ottoman in here until my uh, other furniture arrives. And that's really the only option I have. So it's unfortunate that I'll have to sit here for three months with just a chair and an ottoman. But, you know, I live alone, so that's not a big deal. And honestly, I mean, is it frustrating? Sure. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. So I'll just deal with it. And that's all we can do, right? This will look better when it's <laughs> when it's done. But it's, uh, yeah, it'll look better. But I'll give you kind of an idea what it's going to look like. So I have this one section left to do here. But you'll see it's kind of like these diamonds. And then I did like a little, um, scallop there. Now, oh, what did I do here? Uh-oh, did I mess something up? Well, maybe I'll do that. I think I messed something up. I will fix it, please don't worry. It's just string, it's not a big deal, you know? No, that doesn't look right. Oh, I already did this one. It's just got extra room. I could add another cord, but we won't do that, here we go. So anyway, that's kind of the extent of my furniture situation. So um, the week of the 22nd, my family will come over and we will take this furniture that I have existing. We will put it out on the curb. My trash people will come and get it after I wrap it up with cellophane. And then, um, here we go. I need to make, fix this a little bit. And then I will be without for a couple months. There we go. So that is what this is gonna look like. I have one more three to do but I only have one cape one cord so I need to make two more which is just cutting it then I will hang this and trim it and get everybody off fuss with everything over here this one here I'm not loving so I need to figure out what's happening on this side which is fine there we go so then let's see here if I can potentially get this over here it's just going to take some fussing because I'm using um, yarn and not actual macrame cord, but I wanted it like this. Here we go. Let's see here. I'm just, I'm just flutzing here, guys. I'm just flutzing. We'll get it figured out. There we go. Oh, I see what happened. I need... I need to untie this and just mess with it a little more. Ooh, let's bring it closer to us, shall we? There we go. But this is the beauty of working with this type of macrame is I can, there we go. I just need to tighten up couple of these and yeah there we go so that's done just have to cut them with threads this one will be done and then yeah I'll hang it up and we'll see what's going on all right friends I'm not sure what else we're going to get into tonight but we'll get into something 
Okay, guys, I'm super excited. I finished it. What I do think I need to do is get some hot glue. I'll show you up close. I chose to use an acrylic rod instead of wood, and this slides super easy. So what I will probably do is put a hot glue dollop. If I find it sliding, but yes, I love this. I'm super excited. And it cost me next to nothing because I had all of the yarn from the Dollar Tree. All right, I think we're done for the day. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will talk with you later.